Well, hello everybody. This is Street Alt Laws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Scott Taylor's track dough getting upgraded for the remainder of No Prep Kings Season Seven. Now, for the track lead to it, for the owners, please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Alt Laws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Alt Law shows. So, Scott Taylor is not only building a brand new 69 Camaro, I believe, for NPK, which will be a tribute car to his late father, but he is upgrading Tracto as well. Now, Tracto was built, and I believe it came out back in 2021, and it's fast. Now, it's yet to win a main invitational event, but it's been in several finals and not only that but it's won two grade eights i think so it's a competitive car but it is heavier than some of the other pro charger cars so it's most likely not able to get as much weight out as it needs and also if you're underweight for the rules you can actually stack weight up where you need it and that will make the car work a lot better depending on track conditions etc so he just put a brand new front end on it and it's working with a lot of titanium to get that car lighter now last year when the f4 136 was legal and had the massive weight break scott taylor could not run at the minimum weight for that specific pro charger so he was forced to run the 140-1 pro charger at a heavier weight and that was a massive disadvantage last season. Now, this season, they took weight off the 140-1, and they seem to be very competitive. In fact, six races have been won by that specific combination, Pro Charger Hemi with the 140-1 Pro Charger, because they did take weight out of them and also stacked a lot of weight on the 136. So I'm sure... He is now at weight with the 140, and this car should work better. And hopefully Scott Taylor can actually win. He went to turbos for a little while. The car went really fast, went 213 miles an hour to the eighth mile, but obviously on a fully prep track. On a no prep Kings track, turbos just did not work good enough, and it showed. So he swapped it over as fast as he could to Pro Charger, and he's a little bit behind, but... With these upgrades and more testing, I think he's going to be right up there with the rest of the Pro Charger cars. So, definitely a force to be reckoned with. Scott Taylor has always been really fast. He's been number three before in the point standings, in the final point standings for the championship. And that was, I believe, back in season three. So, he's fast and he's always been competitive. And hopefully this season, he will win his first invitational no prep kinks event.